classical mutadori, so we do this basic technique, like as if you are receiving money. We show it once more from the other side. You step aside, bring your left hand from under, under the handle. What you should not do is bring your right hand immediately also, because you can run into the blade like that. Keep the hand to yourself, bring the left hand and then comes the right hand to the back of the blade. So, at first we check the correct distance for the attack. Now we step to the side and forward to the outside, to Soto, as we say in Japanese. And I bring my hand under the handle. I stand beside the handle of the, of the weapon. And I always try to get the handle of the katana and the right hand together. Always together, because now I have a good control on him. If I only have now the right hand, he can punch me. If I only have the left hand, he can punch me. If I only have the handle, he lets go of the sword and fights on. Yeah? So always try to have both and now I can work with him. The first basic technique was I push from up with my right hand vertically. I cut him from under and now I can proceed with further cuts. And the second basic is also you press from, from above with the left, right hand and then you go to the side. As you see here, it's like a uragyaku and he releases the handle and I can fight on. Okay? So these are the things you should take care of when you work with Mutadori. So that are the basic techniques. Now for our advanced students. Now he wants to cut on. He turns and he wants to cut me again. So now here I bring the handle very close to my body and lock it there. Now I have a very, very good control on him. And can bring him down, as you see, disarm and counter his attack. So, once more. I go to the side, again I control and can even do here a nice uh, throwing technique, Nagewasa. Okay, try that, be careful. Once more, another idea, I pull on the handle and pull the opponent into me and can go into my throwing technique. He can also lift up and I just throw him backwards over my left thigh. So this was a little bit hard on Martin, <laughs> but he's young. And here I can go to a motikyaku or a shionage, and he cuts himself on the way down, once more. Step aside, control. And I follow his blade when he lifts the arm, and turn myself. This is like shionage, and slowly, when he falls backwards, Hatsumi Sensei was doing that in the past, sometimes on the seminars. Okay, hi, play, have fun. <laughs>